on true. Jack Trump in the play. Besides your uncle, who was a great inspiration, I believe, mm -hmm. um, from your story, who else would you say in inspired um, you in this, in this, uh, I guess, well, music industry? I would say, boy, I've got to give credit to my mother and father still, you know? Yeah. You have to give them that credit. And like I said, with nigger means, they did what they had to do, and I give thanks for that, you know? It's like, you know, really just saying, don't have a whole lot, but a lot of love. You know, my aunt too, mm -hmm. she was a woman that collected a lot of records mm -hmm. at the time. So I could always tell what mood she was in. If she and the boyfriend was fighting, she would play a certain type of music and I'd say, oh, okay, don't go down there and trouble her today. Right. <laughs> yeah, so I'd leave her alone and she'd have her little drink and that is just so knock true. it back, you know. And just, uh, and <laughs> but then when the mood was good, you'd see her and put herself together and you'd hear her heels coming down. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, a little knock on the door and a little more she'd just say, y'all children, go to your room and... Mm -hmm. Business was on, you know, <laughs> you know, so yeah, so, but through the music, yeah, 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 you know, you know, yeah, you know, we, we try to keep it nice, and, you know, <laughs> no, 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 she was, she was like, there was no good to bed, but yeah. No, y'all hear, y'all hear some rumbling in there, you know. don't worry about it. Play your guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Louder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> work, work with the rhythm. Yes. Work, work, with, work with the rhythm. Work with the rhythm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Work with the rhythm. I would have been a Congo player. Oh. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I saw it go, you know. So, but I would say a lot of different musicians that are around, you know, also was good influence in terms of their style of music and what they brought to the table as, as as music, you know what I'm saying? So, a lot of influences, and, and reggae is like the main source of what I play, but I love all kind of music, all kind of music, yeah man. Well, we're going to take a quick music break. When we come back, we're going to play some music of yours, Gift time. and um, we're going to have also a debuting of a uh, Rego yeah, single that you have. Um, we're going to have to explain to the audience what that is because if you're not from D.C., you wouldn't really know what Rego is. Ah, but we're going to enlighten them. Give time. Yes, I, yes. And I, I know said that's your right where you would. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Keisha, you know. You yeah, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, Keisha. Thank y'all. I know. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> And I, hold on, before we even go to the break, I don't mm -hmm. know how much time we have to go to the break, but I want to tell you that I'm in the company of three beautiful <laughs> sisters and sisters, beautiful this queen. Is a bad day. You understand? <laughs> so, trust me, man, you know, I'm in good company, I feel good, and the energy is up, you know, and anyhow, yeah, go okay. to commercial. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and my DJ Jazzy Mango on the ones and twos. Hello. You know what beauty tip look, beautician no, over there. Bad hair I don't know what's happening. What the hell? <laughs> she done went from Dora to Flora. I don't like having a bad hair day. 
Well, you know what, girl? I can hook you up when we're done. Yeah. Look, you know, I'm, I, I'll hook you up. Thank you. Why did I bump me? I'll hook you up. <laughs> I got whippers in the car. Uh-uh, not no clip. I got a whole bag. Oh, God. <laughs> well, listen, today is Fire Fridays. We've been listening to all types of wonderful music. Look, we started out with a little Latin. That's right. That's what my chi-chis and cha-chas <laughs> are the world. And hot leaves. Oh, that's no. Right. Shout out to Cypress. Cypress is listening. Yeah, shout out to them. That's probably what drew them in, Jazzy. Yeah, see? <laughs> 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 Jazzy looks like a treasure troll. Oh, my God. I said <laughs> that. What is, what is no, the thing you know, the yeah. I don't know. I didn't, know. I didn't, your, I didn't like toys or cartoons as a kid, so. Oh. I still love you though. Your lips look good. See, that's the only thing we're Good lips. See, that's a good compliment. I mean, once you tore it down about it. <laughs> of course, hair. right? I said you had a good job. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, listen, guys, we also have our in studio guest today. Right. Yes, we have Shango Roots in the building. Rastafari. Right. Yes, and we uh, have been listening to we, some of his music along with some others as well. Mm-hmm. And um, listening to some of his stories about becoming the musician that he is today. Do you, do you, would you consider yourself a musician or an artiste? Mm-hmm. Well, a very creative person. I'll take that <laughs> and run with it. <laughs> yes. I'll take that. Yeah, man. Humble but creative. You know, artists, yeah, man, you know, it's in the same category still, you know. So, mm-hmm. you know, it depends on, once again, the medium that you're working in still. So, you know. Okay. Yeah, man. That works. That, that works. Work? Yes, I can't that work works. with you. We can do all it. Right, all right. The we creative can. man yes, ma'am. that he is. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, right. yeah, okay. Right. Well, listen, um, I have the pleasure of knowing a little history about um, Mr. Shango here. Uh, we are in the District of Columbia, the DMV. Uh, really, D.C. is the home of go-go music, correct? Yes, yes, yes. And there has since been a genre created called reggae. Mm. And there was a one particular um, musician in the in the area who was performing it around the area. Yeah. But Shango, if I'm correct, you had a hand in that. John were being created, correct? Oh. Yes, man. Yes, man. Well, well, tell us a little about it. Let me go down. I'm going to cut him short still. Like now. Zoila? A long story. <laughs> 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 and I'll go down in a long story. But uh, anyhow, we were, I was going to perform a gig at RFK Stadium mm-hmm. and um, ran into Ras Lidge. And um, he didn't have his instrument, so he told me, say, I said, well, if you want, he asked me if he could play on the gig. I said, yeah, man, no problem. And then he said, I said, well, where's your instrument? And he said, well, we used to do a little rehearsal at a place called Fifth Street. And so he said, come on down there. So I pick up his instrument, ran over to the gig. We was on there with a, a group, of uh, all girls, reggae group out of New York called World of Girls and uh, quite a few other artists. And we start dub the music now, you know, and um, music was pumping, you know, re- ru- rubber dub. <laughs> and we just say, all right, get in, Lich. You want to take a piece of it? And I said, not the Congo. And I'm not the Congo. And I said, yeah. He give me some go-go beats. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call that Rego. I write this so the name was born, Rego. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Reggae mixed with go-go. And we just call it Rego, and that was the story behind that. So, you know, I decided that sometimes, you know, history kind of has a way of if you don't document a thing or, you know, you don't put it in a package where, or not even say a package, just lay it down in history, mm-hmm. you know, so that people know that where the origin of it came from. You know, sometimes it just goes by the wayside. I say that because when <laughs> reggae was in its infancy, a lot of people was playing reggae and doing their part to make reggae what it is. And sometimes you ask a person, well, how did reggae get started? And a person said, well, I just played the guitar and said, check it, check it. And the next man said, well, I just said, do the reggae. And that was it. And you don't know really where the origin of it came from. So mm-hmm. because we were on stage, he knocked the Congo and play a go-go beat. 
to a reggae beat, I called it reggae. And from there, so wrestlers just took it and ran with it. And it, it's all good, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's all good. So basically, that was many years ago. And I ran into Rasslidge and said, let me put something together and just tell that little story. You know, and that's what recording is all about, is recording and documenting, you know, musical events at a certain time. Yes. Well, we uh, have the pleasure of having that single here in the studio with Thank us. You. Yeah, so we're going to um, play the single, and when we come back, we're going to tell you what we think about it. All right. That's right. <laughs> 